Hello and welcome to another Pixel Flix tutorial. I'm Professor Pixel and we're going back to the basics where we'll be covering the basics of pixel art coloring and lighting. We'll be recreating this pixel art ball so let's start by going to File, New and making the size 100 by 100 pixels and say OK. Zoom in to 600% and let's pick our background color. I want a light blue background so I can pick one from the swatches or I can cursor over my foreground color box and click on it to bring up the color picker. Just to the right of the main color box is a color spectrum slider that you can click and drag to select a color in the blue spectrum. Now I'll cursor over the main color box and click in the top left portion to select a light blue, say OK, and click in the background with my paint bucket to fill it in. Now I'm going to make a new layer, call it ball, and say OK. Click on the foreground color box to bring up the color picker, slide it to red, and click in the top right of the main color box to get a bright red. Now I'll make a perfect circle with the pencil tool at a size of 40 pixels and click in the center with my ball layer selected to make my base red color. Now let's make a shadow on the ball by selecting our elliptical marquee tool and clicking and dragging to make a large circle selection that is offset from our ball. We're assuming a light is coming from the top left. Now with the color picker, click down lower in the box to get a darker red. Now go to Select Inverse and click inside your ball to make a shadow. After the ball is filled with the shadow, let's deselect that and you'll notice that the fill is slightly fuzzy. To help combat this, you can try to fill in the reds again. Or if that doesn't work, you can up your tolerance like I am here to 55 and try filling it again. That will give you a more well-defined shadow. You can also clean it up with your pencil tool if you need to. You can also hold shift and click on a color to select it as your foreground color. Bring up the color picker again and click in the top middle to pick a light red for the highlight. Size up the pencil tool to 16 pixels to make a round highlight and click on the upper left of the ball to indicate the light source. Now let's make a new layer, call it shadow, say OK and click and drag the shadow layer below the ball layer so it is under the ball. With the elliptical marquee tool, click and drag out a wide oval selection. Hold down shift and click on the blue background to bring up the color picker. Let's click down and right from the current blue for the shadow and click inside the selection. Deselect and click in the shadow again to make sure it's well defined. And those are the basics of picking colors, their shadows, and their highlights. Here are some other quick coloring tips. I'll use the Steven Universe pixel art as an example. If you have black line art like I have here and want to color over it, it will get covered up in normal mode. But if you switch it to darken mode, you can color over your lines and retain your line work as long as it's darker than your new color. The same works in reverse for white line work in the lighten mode. You can color over it to retain your white or lighter lines. And those are the basics of pixel art color picking, lighting, and shading in Photoshop. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or drop a comment below. There will be a new tutorial soon on the basics of pixel art animation in Photoshop, so subscribe to be notified when it is uploaded. Thanks for watching. Click the annotations for more Pixel Flix tutorials. Please like, share, and subscribe. There are new videos every Friday, plus bonus videos.